Because the best way to spread Christmas cheer is singing loud for all to hear and Christmas lights. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Are you snuggling with your foot? Good morning, tiny cat. Good morning. Oh, cat stretch. Oh my goodness. I've always wanted to catch the cat stretch on camera. What about the other cat stretch where you stretch one arm up? Stretch. Ooh, dark. Light. It's super rainy out. Feels kind of cozy inside. We have prayer call, like our church has a prayer call at 12.15 on Wednesdays. So I thought it's 11.56, let's go ahead and warm up these potatoes. Don't forget to take the tin foil off before you microwave them. You want a fireworks show to waken, waken you up? To wake you up? I'm gonna heat these up. Peter's still working upstairs for a few more minutes. And then we'll eat our potatoes and then we'll be ready for our Zoom call. It's going to be a good day. And here's how the lunch turned out. Cucumbers and potatoes. And then I remembered we had the leftover pretend portillos and Peter's doing a dance. I'm so excited. I'm so excited that you're so excited. Uh, the portillos made me have a pretty bad stomach ache last night. So he's gonna eat that. And I'm gonna have potato and cucumber. Here's your cucumber. Great. And there we go. Hey guys, you wanna come with me to go find Harry? I think I know where he is. We have a new Christmas comforter and this guy really likes our Christmas comforter because it's nice and warm and cozy. Hey bud bud, you just taking a little nap in there? You are the cutest. And some would say the ugliest, I know, but he's ugly in a cute kind of way, or cute in an ugly kind of way. I mean, he's a naked cat. Just saying. It, Mary's singing Christmas songs. We're, we feel like it's Christmas. We feel like, Mary just said, I feel like it's Friday. And I think because we're, we worked really hard on getting orders out from our online store. And when you're watching this video, today is the last day to oh, order Christmas. to order things from our online store to ship by Christmas. Basically anything that ships from our house, you can order it today and we'll get it in the mail tomorrow for Christmas. Bread. <laughs> Why did you throw bread at me? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're feeling a little giddy. I think... Ah! Peter! What? This is full and warm! Oh no! Oh no! I left the half and half out. It's okay. Really? I you mean, think it's okay? It wasn't that long ago that you made it that wasn't that long ago. Yeah, I guess a couple hours. I don't know, guys. I need to water the Christmas tree. I don't smell a Christmas tree a ton. I'm I'm allergic to Christmas trees. Not like highly allergic. It just makes my eyes itchy and a little bit sneezy. But it hasn't bothered me. I think partially because we don't, we haven't been coming in this room very often. We we thoroughly enjoy this room because it's kind of open to the rest of the house and we walk by and see the Christmas tree. We see the Christmas tree from outside. We see all the plants, but we haven't blocked off because it, Harry was having some bathroom accidents in here. <laughs> what? Bathroom accidents. Yeah, he was. Yeah, so anyways, but. I have to say, this is a very thirsty tree. That's good! It is good, but I think 
Well, I guess it's a debate whether it's a thirsty tree or a small tree stand. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, I just watered the Christmas tree. Hey, thanks, babe. thanks for joining me. Yeah. I forgot to send you some clips from yesterday. Oh, okay. So let's put them in right now. All right. Here's some clips. The plants that are currently next to our sink right now, this is a succulent I've had for quite a long time. It turns out he was not happy up on the top shelf of my plant shelf in the window. He apparently doesn't want that much sun. I'm just like drizzling water in there whenever I wash my hands and uh, thriving much. Yes, very happy, happy cabbage. Not super happy, but happy enough. And then this little guy, it is a sprout from the bottom of our hibiscus tree. We decided to cut it off. I dipped the end in honey. I don't know, I've heard about it, I don't know. And I've put it in water. I have no idea if it's going to grow me some roots or not. We shall see. Plant updates, yay! Prime example of Peter's love for me and also for the birds. A new package of mealworms. This is what bluebirds like. Actually, there's a bluebird right on this package. They love dried mealworms. And that's what we put in our like church feeder. It looks like a little church. Um, it works great. It's not a specific mealworm feeder. It's just a bird feeder that we put mealworms in. And it's great. Apparently, great for chickens too. And I said something about how Peter's love for me and the birds because he, I think he went to the hardware store and he got me this new pack of mealworms. Oh, and that just reminded me, not those clips, but the fact that I just saw this wreath. It has those lights that we got that are the same as this one, but the batteries died and the ones on our front door died. So. You guys want to come with me? Let's go get some batteries and we will re-power our Christmas cheer. Because the best way to spread Christmas cheer is singing loud for all to hear and Christmas lights. Somebody was telling me, we don't, we don't have much to compare just last year and this year, but that there's more Christmas lights in our neighborhood and kind of in the surrounding streets. And I think people recognize the, the need for light and cheer in this weary season. That is one of my favorite. Wow, we got like the Sam's Club version pack of batteries. Favorite, two, two favorite line, well, Man, I hate saying favorite. Two lines from Christmas carols that I really love. One is, a thrill of hope, the weary world rejoices. I mean, that, that is something that Mary and I try to communicate in these vlogs, is that joy and sorrow, or joy and weariness, can coexist. And that's hope. It's, it's that, reality that you can have joy in the midst of tears and anyways that'll get me fired up but the other line i was just thinking about this line today what 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 christmas carol is the hopes and fears of all the years are met in the tonight um, is that silent little town of oh yes a little town of bethlehem um kind of a cool story behind that one too but the hopes and fears of all the years are met in the tonight. I feel like that's that's a good line for 2020. Oh. So many hopes, so many fears. Wow, this journey to get batteries got real deep, honey. Real deep. Okay, we're having spaghetti and cucumbers again. Spaghetti. Wow, that's bright. Spaghetti and cucumbers. Mary got this pack of like, what do you call these? English cucumbers? Mini cucumbers. Mini cucumbers. Mini English cucumbers. Mm. They're quite good. All right, let's put the batteries in. Okay, I 
was I was thinking in the process of doing the batteries is three AA batteries and I was thinking is it worth the the batteries like should I just forget about it and not and then I turned it on and wow the the magic I'm telling you Christmas lights oh yeah worth it plus they came with free batteries it's true so that was our first battery expense all right, we gotta do the front wreath now. Much better. Mary's having a late night snack. You, you having some mealworms? Seaweed? Okay. <laughs> Close. <laughs> I just remembered I need to go fill up my pills. Okay. I'm so tired. It's Wednesday. It's pill day. Fine. Okay. I'm fine. I can, I can I can help you with that. It's okay. 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 It's okay. All Thank right. You. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in to Christmas excitement on the Fry Life, and as always, we'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night, and good night to. The fancy poodle. Yeah, I see that tail wagging. Good night, little buddy. Oh, where's the cat? Oh, cat on the chair. Cat on the chair. Good night, Harry. We'll see you tomorrow.